G'day, Bruce here from Rainance Tackle. Um, everyone's getting ready for the coming tuna season, so I thought we'd talk you through a few things that had to be up to save you losing that big fish. First of all, we'll start with tuna skirt. This is a Zuka red and white, very popular lure. Comes unrigged unfortunately, so we rig them in house for you. We made it quite easy with our, our tuna rigs. They come with spacers and crimps provided. It's a Japanese Muruto hook and 200 pound Japanese trace line, just over a meter long. Ideally you want the hook to be laying near the back of the, the lure like that, not too far back, not too far in, about there. To do that, we've done this before, so we know one spacer bead's enough. Put your line through there, stick it up his bum, that's through there. That's the easy part. Because we, we've pre-done this end for you, it's pretty pretty foolproof. The tricky part is crimping the other end. First of all, the crimp must be the right size for the line, so it's a nice snug fit, not too loose. Slide the crimp on. Get your pliers ready. You do a Flemish die. A Flemish die is basically a shoelace knot. So it's once around, twice around. No more times, because doing it more actually makes it worse. Slide the crimp up there, and pull this nice and tight. You don't want it too big, because eventually it'll pull tight on a fish anyway. So you want it like a nice little ball. Slide the crimp down. Now the important part. The pliers, the right size teeth, don't go to the edge, just back from the edge. And they don't go on the side, they go there. So that the teeth match the, the shape of the, of the crimp. So, the, so it's back from the edge, so the edge of the line doesn't get crimped by the, the crimp, about there. Like so. Next one, again the same, not right to the edge, just back from the edge. Down you go. Do it nice and firm, not so it kills it, but so it's, it's pushed in there. You end up with a nice little bow tie. Each end, it's, it's flared out. That, that's, that's done. Get your scissors, which I've gone walk about. Typical rain ants, everything's everywhere. Chop that off, and you're ready to go. That's that's one way of doing it. This is to facilitate having a snap swivel going straight to there. So you're trying to run a, a trawling lure, like a Halco, for example, or a, a, a blade, or one of these. You keep changing over, your snap swivel goes straight into there. That's nice and easy. Part one, done.